Someone asked me, if I wanted to send something confidential, how would I send that in Microsoft Word? And there are a couple of ways you can make something confidential, or we're going to do it top secret. The first thing I'm going to do is open a new file. I'm going to use a template just so we can show you what to do. And let's, oh, here we go. Here's a report. Reports can sometimes be confidential. So I'm going to open this report, create a document. Great. I'm going to type the document title. I'm going to make my name the document title. And what you'll see here when you scroll down it should make that the document title on every page. And in the subtitle I want you to type the period you're in. And where it says pick the date, put the date. All right, so now we're going to make this confidential. So what I want to do is go to page layout. And one way you can make something confidential is by adding a watermark that says so. And a watermark is really just a way for somebody to see something on the page. It's kind of transparent. Um, with, you usually see it on like sample things. And you can see it says confidential right here. But I'm going to do a custom watermark and I am going to make it a text watermark. You can make it a picture if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to make the text say top secret. You can change the font if you'd like to. I'm not going to do that and just click OK. And you can see now on the report it should say top secret throughout your report. The second way you can do that is by changing the permissions on your document. Go to File, go to Permissions, and you can do Protect Document, and you can mark it as the final copy. So if you are sending several copies over to somebody for approval, you can say this is the final one. You can encrypt it with a password. You can restrict the editing. So if I wanted to send it to you, but I didn't want you to be able to edit it, you can click on that. and. Now it offers me these things here. We can password protect it. Go back over here. Um, and you can, I mean, there are all kinds of different things you can do, but these are just some of the things you can do to make your Word documents a bit more secure.